Hi, Jake with Dow Dynamics. Today in the garage, we're gonna be showing you how to reseal a headlight using our new automotive grade butyl headlamp sealant. Now, butyl is a sealant that's typically used to reseal headlights after retrofitting them with projectors or installing products like our HD LED halos, Pro Series Demon Eyes, or multicolor LED boards. To show you the installation, today we've got a Gen Coupe headlight that's fitted with one of our HD LED halos. Now, a lot of you are gonna be asking, how do I get the headlight open in the first place? This is a process called baking, where you actually heat the entire housing in order to open it up. Now, because headlight housings are very expensive and can often cost $1,000 or more for an OEM replacement, we would strongly encourage working with a professional installer if you're not already familiar with this process. The link to our Find a Dealer page is in the description below, where you can simply type in your location and find a network of authorized Diodynamics installers that would be happy to help. Now this is our R&D headlight, as you might have guessed, so it's already been opened, but we did want to point out that after you've installed your new products and before you reseal the headlight, you want to go ahead and clean out the channel where all that original sealant was, as well as clean the sealant off of the lens itself. Now this can be a lengthy process, sometimes taking a few hours or more, but it is worth the time investment because if you don't have a clear line of sight for that butyl to sit, you can end up with air bubbles, which allows moisture and a host of other problems for your headlights. So now that we're ready to reseal the headlight, let's get out our butyl and start sealing our headlight up. You'll see here that with our seven millimeter automotive grade butyl, we've got over 20 feet to work with. So this is more than enough to seal two large headlights or more than that if you're working with smaller applications. All right, now to get started with the resealing process, you'll take your butyl and start inserting it into the channel all around the headlight. Now we recommend pressing in the butyl as you go and this butyl is flexible, so if you have a headlight with smaller, thinner channels like this Gen Coupe, you can actually stretch it a bit to make it the right size. And you'll notice I'm pressing as I go. All right, now that we've got a good amount of butyl all around the headlight, we can go ahead and cut off the very end and tie our two ends together. And then we'll just go through one more time and tuck the butyl back into the channel as best we can before we reseal the lens. All right, now that our butyl is in place, the last step is gonna be to heat up the entire housing so that we can fully seal our lens back into the housing. Now we'd recommend using an oven at about 275 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes to get this to the right level of softness and adhesion where you can stick the two parts together. Now some headlights are gonna be a little too big to fit in an oven, in which case you'll need to find an alternative method of heating the butyl, which might be a heat gun, and that can take significantly longer than using an oven. All right, to get the butyl nice and pliable, we're gonna preheat the oven to 275 degrees. Then we're gonna stick our headlight in there for 10 to 15 minutes. Now, it's a good idea to go ahead and test any components you've installed in your headlights before doing this, just to make sure that everything is functioning properly. When removing your headlight, be careful because it will be hot. Then we're gonna place the lens on top of the housing and press it firmly into the channel to get a nice seal all the way around. Next, reinstall any factory hardware to fasten the lens to the housing. If your original sealant was perma-seal and did not have any fasteners, it's usually a good idea to add in a few small metal screws to make sure the lens and housing stays firmly together over time. Finally, we're going to clamp everything together with locking pliers or clamps all the way around the edge of the lamp. Then, we'll stick our headlight back in the oven for about five minutes just to make sure everything comes together with a good, even seal. For better protection against condensation, consider adding a few breather patches to improve airflow and prevent moisture buildup. And with that, we know we have a nice weather tight seal for years to come. For more information on our butyl headlamp sealant, click the link below for more information or use our dealer locator tool to find a dealer near you. Thanks for watching.